Welcome everyone. It is like eight minutes before midnight. I am very tired. So you know what? What's what better time to do uh, the video to do the to, the matchup thing analysis thing before before I fight for the first week? It's a good start. Just starting out exhausted, but nevertheless, let's go over the first week's matchup. So. As you probably saw from the draft recap, the team is Tornadus, T, Melmetal, Infernape, Crocodile, Megadude, Ralph Forges, Porygon 2, Dalmise, Cryon, Reggie Draga, Rosalian, Brubo, Palace. So, uh, we're going to be fighting Josh and his New Jersey Durants, which he actually stole from Nicole, but let's not talk about that. So, his team is, well, it's it's interesting, let's, let's just say that. It's, it's got Mega Arrow. It's got Verizion, Keldeo, Victini, Erotum Wash, Needle King, Vigoroth, Gudra, Kingler, uh, Rimsnuff, Fortress, and Aromatis. So this card, this team started out as like a bit of a meme team at first. Does he? His first pick was Verizion because that, that wasn't a meme from last season. That was kind of carried over. And now he's back. No, wait, no, that wasn't him. But he's here, and that's his team. And uh, so the big threats are, of course, Mega Arrow, Keldeo, Vitini, uh, Rotom, and Nidoking. Now, uh, I, first thing I noticed about this team was that uh, Bulky Crocodile uh, can kind of check a lot of uh, important mods like Mega Arrow, Victini, uh, and Nidoking. Pardon? Uh, and set up rocks, which are amazing this game since he only has two two options for removal, and his two of his big hitters are weak to rock, uh, being Mega Arrow and Bikini. Now, uh, screens with Mega Arrow is a very scary combination, so uh, I gotta watch out for that. Uh, but let's just look over this uh, to the team I'm running. Here. So as I said, you got Bulky Crocodile with leftovers. EQ, Smackdown, Stealth Hark, Knockoff, enough speed to outspeed Rotom Wash. Uh, and Smackdown is for, bo for both Rotom Wash and Mega Arrow. So I'd switch in. Uh, maybe they think, maybe he thinks I'm gonna go. Uh, go he's gonna go into his uh, bulky Rotom and, uh, to try and take a hit, because mm, as you may see, uh, very little else on his team really wants to take a hit from Crocodile, except except like Ryzen, who I doubt is gonna come. Uh, Keldeo, which uh, just gets knocked off, and then loses its item, which makes it practically useless this match. Uh, and Aromatic, which I don't think is coming, and Grimmsnarl, which uh, again no more like clay, or and even if it, he does switch in, that's just. Uh, that allows us to uh, bring in another one of our mods, which is Forges, which not only is it uh, our removal and uh, uh, a, our tool to one of our tools to remove the screens, it also massively threatens Grimmsnarl, naturally because you know Fairy type it's it's, it's strong against it. Uh, I actually mean no matchups, of course. Uh, now we got a bit off track. Let's go. We'll go back to the Elk Rock. So, it also helps against 15, thanks to Intimidate and the Defense Investment, and like uh, the stat was super effective. Uh, so, Crook is just going to be uh, like gen generally very useful this match, especially uh, being our, our hazard setter. It's going to get a lot of pressure up. Now, Mega Dude Bro here is basically doing the same thing as Crook. But instead of setting up hazards, it's here to set up Trick Room for uh, one of our other mons, which is and Crush. It's our, our Delmise. As you may have noticed, uh, none, none of his none of his mons really want to take a hit from uh, its uh, three stabs because Power Power Whip. Uh, let's let's go. Uh, okay, Poltergeist. Let's see. He only has. 
one resist, two resists to Poltergeist, one of is one of which is Vigoroth, which I highly doubt is going to come. The other is Grimmsnarl, which is uh, positively demolished by Anchor Shot. And then there's Rotom, who can take both pretty well, but can't take a Power Whip at all. So the only re really, really the only one that can take a hit from this is Fortress, but it can't do anything back. So we can just set up a Swords Dance on it. We can also just uh, use uh, like the ro a Rotom switching into Mega Dude Bro as a, as it sets up Trikum, uh as a way to get uh, Dalmai's in pretty freely because uh, it doesn't really threaten, threaten us with Burn thanks to Lumberry and we threaten it back highly with a Power Whip and all. So I think Dalmai is going to be very important in this match. Speaking of another important one, this match that's going to be uh, good at, at breaking and sweeping, it's uh, Reggie Drago. Now you may ask, why are you bringing Reggie Drago? This is a team with two fairies and a steel type. Well, simply enough, um, I don't think Aromatis is going to come, for one. Uh, Fer Fortress is very weak to Fire Fang, luckily enough. And Gr while Grimmsnell is a problem, Normal gem boosted explosion the plus one is a roll to kill uh, from behind uh, from uh, while well reflect is up. Uh, did I say that right? Yeah. Normal gem boosted explosion at plus one. O Oko is a roll to Oko Grim Snarl behind a reflect. Yes. Uh, and it's it's guaranteed after stealth rocks. Uh, well, depending on of course uh, the investment. So I th and and uh, Grimstar often see, takes a lot of damage early and uh, is going to probably like go down early because of how Grimstar is it has no recovery and its main job is just set, set up uh, screens for other mines so it's probably just going to get sacked. So uh, I think Reggie Drago once Grimstar goes down, Reggie Drago can find just find a setup opportunity in front of Rotom or something and then just kind of win uh, without rage so that's that now the last one's a bit wacky we got AV Torrent Tornadus with knockoff hurricane brick brick and u-turn this thing is here for pure utility it's here to get rid of uh, wacky items that you may not like on mons and just just generally tank hits and heal them off with regen and also just be fast and just uh, be able to oh but more specifically it's supposed to be uh, our check to Nido King it comes in and can take uh, without rocks up it can take uh, uh, basically any hit and then threaten it back with either a knockoff or a hurricane and we can just easily heal that uh, uh, damage away with regen because Tornado T is a very balanced mod, you see. Uh, so I think that's basically everything. I don't think there's much else I have to say. I'm pretty confident I can win this match. This is probably going to be one of the easier matches this week of the of the season. So wish me luck, and uh, I'll see you in the match because that's not going to happen yet. Uh, good night, because I'm very tired. It is now midnight. Alright. So, okay, that should work. So, uh, we're uh, going to be having our first match of the season right now. It's going to be against Josh. Um, I'm waiting for the challenge now. Uh, you probably just saw this... Uh, Hopefully I just put the team building for this if I did this thing right. So you don't need any introductions. We're just waiting for him to send the challenge. <laughs> He's taking quite a bit. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Um, so how was your day? Mine was alright. Uh, how are your holidays going? Uh, your, 
your vacations. It's pretty hot out here. It's like today was like 37 degrees. It's pretty hot. Uh, the wind made it a little cooler though, and I did stay inside for quite a bit of it. Oh, there it is. There we go. Okay, let's do this. It's battle time. Okay, fortress is here. There's. Wait a minute. I don't. Wait, there's no Mega Arrow, which is surprising to say the least. Grimstarl is as expected. Or Wash as expected. Okay, everything is expected. Except. Except Keldew and Fortress. Those are the big surprises that I didn't expect. Okay, so let's see. What do I think the lead's gonna be? I'll, I'll probably just have to put this in because he's probably not going to. Okay, so. Okay, this is gonna be an interesting match for sure. So let's see, if he leads, I'm, probably, I'm expecting either a Grim Snarl or Rotom Washley. So, something that can handle both of those, at least somewhat decently. Hmm. Tornado Steel would probably be the smartest play here. Um, but I don't want it to get paralyzed, or... Uh, yeah, floor just could be interesting, but I don't. Uh, if if he leads literally anything else, that could be pretty, uh, pretty bad. I think I'm just going for the properly lead uh, tornadoes. Uh, but imagine, imagine what. Uh, ooh, I think Floor just is the smartest uh, strategy. How much? Let me do, uh, let me just check the calcs. Floor just yes, the green snarl. Dual screen Moonblast is going to be pretty strong. Even and it's like, what's it gonna do back? Like. Spirit break for like t for like some damage, I guess. Yeah, I think I'm gonna lead floor just like teeny lead. Interesting, interesting. Not what I expected at all. Uh, I'm just going to Mega Dude, bro. Wait, what if it's? I hope it's not Calm Mind. That would be strange. Very strange indeed. Mm, I'm very tempted to just go into Crocodile and try to set rocks up. Hmm. Yeah, I'm probably gonna do that. It's probably she's probably just gonna U-turn. Yep, as expected. Uh, Caldeo. Yep. Okay, so I I go into Tornadus T definitely. I definitely should have just gone to slow, bro. Not, not taking unnecessary damage. Flip turn, yeah, uh huh. As expected. Road homage. Hmm. Now I know I can take a volt switch. Hmm. What if I just. Okay, I have an idea.
All right, time to see if we get our first hurricane miss of the season. I'm <laughs> okay, please. I, okay, I'm joking. Please do not miss hurricane tornadoes. Please, this is the start of the season. Start off on the right foot. Please, I'm begging you. Oh my god, I hate this. Oh my goodness. <clears throat> what a great start to the season. Alright, so no more. Let's switch into EQ. So he said it's offensive. So roll on wash. Let's say he shows her. Uh, Smacked down. This is from Klutz. No, earthquake should KO. Okay, so well, like, what's it gonna do? Like toxic, set up some spikes or something. Uh huh. Let's see. Maybe I can reset stealth axe. They they could be useful. Will they though? Let's see. I'm setting it up on our spinner. Okay. Yeah, I'm just gonna knock off. Okay. No more item for this guy? Mystic water, huh? Okay, okay. I see. Sir? Perfect, perfect. Alright, so this is the perfect time to set it up. Wait, I clicked the wrong move. Oh no, I meant to click trick room. Okay, okay, time to improvise. Time to improvise. Alright. Clicking wish. Oh, God, this is definitely a misplay. There's the big man. Alright, how is how much is non life orb doing to Delamise with an ice beam? Sixty to seventy one. It's too close, too close, too close. How much is it doing to forges? Such wave is probably not going to be a KO. Wait, how much is it doing to Reggie Drop? Crooked arrow? Okay, I can just switch into Crook. No problem. Okay, time to do some counting. Reggie Drago against Grim Snarl. Plus one for her.
<laughs> okay, interesting, interesting. Trick room. Take it, big man, take it. You got it. Non mega shirt, skull shirt, oh cool. For this case. Skull. Perfect. Now I go into. Wait, did I knock it off? Okay, I did knock it off. That's good. That's very good. Okay. Alright, what's the switch into this? Fortress. Okay, so I get two. Alright. So I'm just gonna click. So we can actually go to It's gonna be close. 75. Ugh. It's worth dance. Okay, this is gonna be interesting. Switch as expected. All right, we need a key without the life orb. Okay then.
I want to apologize uh, for there literally being no sound because again I was muted for like a few minutes in the video especially through the end so I didn't really get a chance to say my closing thoughts so it was a, it was a, an interesting game I definitely could could have played better I made a terrible misclick and then and I and I got a game changing hack so such is such a life sometimes what are you gonna do anyway uh, good good uh, thank you to Josh um, good job on the win and let's hope we we get up from this loss and do good next time all right so that should be it um like subscribe all that jazz i'm sorry for being muted for like a good five seconds or like like a good however much time it was but like say lovey sometimes you know anyway that's all i wanted to say um have a good night and come back next week where we f where f when we fight uh, Zach, and hopefully we don't get hacked like we did last time. Okay, uh, good night, everyone.